so hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and today is the first video of the simplest road to crack gpad series and today is part one where we will be covering pharmacology subject so myself payam bora i have gpad all india rank 43 iit bhu all india rank 07 manipal all india rank 08 and i've also qualified bits hd and gate 2023 so firstly in pharmacology we have a number of things that are to be studied but the one thing that comes to our mind what is to be prioritized what is to be done first what is to be covered first so all the classification should be at the tip of your tongue if I ask someone to ask so you should be well versed with the classification because questions in GPAD if you analyze previous year 10 years question papers see the questions have been asked from the classification so you should be aware of all the classification, especially antibiotics, cardiovascular systems, CNS systems, endocrine systems, all the classification of these uh, systems. Next thing that is very important is the adverse drug reactions. So there are a list of adverse drug reactions that are caused by particular drugs like aspirin causes Reis syndrome, Grey baby syndrome by chloramphenicol. So a list of ADR is to be prepared for all the drugs around there there will be tentatively around 55 drugs whose adr is actually very important for you so just see to it that you get that list metabolism so there are certain drugs whose active metabolite who, who are, which are pro drugs or uh, the drugs that are active and their metabolite is also active or there are certain drugs whose metabolite is very toxic like cyclophosphamide so its metabolite acrolein is very toxic so that is one thing that you need to remember uh, then you have diazepam, so it has a metabolite which is active. Salindath, which has a phase 2 metabolite which is active. So you have to uh, make a table again for all the metabolites of the drugs. Antidotes, so there are certain antidotes, certain drugs with particular antidotes only. Like if you speak about paracetamol, so for paracetamol you have N-acetylcysteine as antidote. If you speak about arsenic, so you have British anti-leucite or dimecaprol as antidote. So there are around again 55 to 60 drugs whose antidote you must know. You must know the antidotes. The list is easily available on any platform online. You can just quickly go through the list. Next is the types of receptors. So speaking about the types of receptors, you have four types of receptors. Ligand gated, G protein, enzyme linked and nuclear. So you need to know the difference. So like ligand gated is also called as ionotropic. G protein is also called as metabotropic. Enzyme link basically has tyrosine kinase enzymes. Nuclear receptors are basically the receptors of your hormones like T3, T4, TSH, estrogen, etc. Ligand gated, mein you need to know the examples. It is GABA A, 5HT3 and nicotinic receptors. While mostly the receptors are G protein. In G also you have four types of G protein receptors. G, Q, G, I, G, S. So you need to know the difference. Which one increases the adenyl cyclase, cyclic AMP level. Which one reduces the adenyl cyclase, cyclic AMP level. And which one, the third point that you need to remember as, as a difference is the onset. Like ligand gate is occurring in milliseconds. G protein in seconds. Enzyme linked in minutes. And nuclear receptors takes hours for its uh, action to be mediated. Next up that you need to prioritize is pharmacological terms. So sometimes these basics are avoided by us. And then these only pop definition of pharmacology, definition of pharmacokinetics, definition of pharmacovigilance, definition of pharmacotherapeutics, uh, certain terminologies like agonist, super agonist, inverse agonist, partial agonist. And then which one has an intrinsic activity, which one has efficacy, with, uh, with what is the potency. So at intrinsic activity and efficacy are one and the same. Potency is the strength of the dose and affinity is the likeliness, the how much likeliness towards the receptor. Next up you need to know from the hospital and clinical pharmacy is the clinical trials. There are five phases in the clinical trials, phase 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you need to be knowing the difference between the phases, the synonyms of the phases, the volunteers in which phase we use animals, which phase we use healthy volunteers, which phase we use diseased volunteers. In TDM, therapeutic drug monitoring, what are the drugs that require therapeutic drug monitoring? That have a narrow therapeutic window, that have a narrow therapeutic index, 
that have a lot of side effects, a lot of prolonged effects, adverse effects. So there are, there are certain drugs that may co cause, you know, psychological and physical dependence, like antipsychotics, certain hypnotics. So you need to know the uh, TDM and PTC, that is Pharmacy and Therapeutic Committee. Uh, the questions have been asked on the composition of PTC, like who is the chairman, so pharmacist, uh, who is the secretary, so doctors. So you need to know the composition of the PTC and the work and how many times it meets a year. So there have been questions that how many times PTC meets, carries out meetings. So it is six years, uh, six times. In a year, they meet six times. So this is important. Now, how do you study the entire pharmacology in three phases? First phase, you need to know all the classification. So when you start preparing, when you uh, take up the pharmacology as a subject, so you need to know that you are well versed with entire classifications. Second phase, you need to know about the metabolites, the active metabolites, the toxic metabolites, etc., the adverse reactions, the isomers. And then finally, revise all these points from Sparsh Gupta, which is a very good book. And uh, if you are done with KD, because KD is a little lengthy book, but you need to know that KD Tripathi is very important. So if you are not able to do, then only Sparsh Gupta and Lipin Coat will be a good option for you. If, if you see that you you have to study appropriately every single particular important point and those highlighted points will get in Sparsh Gupta. So all the drugs ka classification whether it be arrhythmic, hypertensive or it let it be any uh, uh, CNS drugs like sedative hypnotics, psychotics, depressants, epileptics, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. So you need to know the entire classification of those drugs. So this is how you can study your pharmacology and uh, prepare for it. So that's all for today's video. If you did like it or you have any doubts regarding books or any queries, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Thank you so much for today's session.